Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. Just want to short to show you a short video today. Uh, it's a fun little DC to DC circuit that I have. Uh, left side is the input, right side is the output, labeled in plus, in minus. So your positive input voltage and ground, uh, and your output out one, out plus, and out minus, output plus and ground. And uh, the uh, maximum input voltage is five volts to thirty-six volts DC. The output voltage is uh, zero or a, a minimum of 1.5 volts and a maximum of 33 volts. We'll get to that, to that to that in a second. When you have all of the uh, right now, I've got about 20 to 23 volts at the input, <coughs> and um, that uh, there's always a base. The minimum is 1.5 volts when you have all of the dip switch settings to the right in the on position. Now, you probably can't see this, but on the board there is a, uh, the f switch number one is labeled 0 0.5 volts, switch two is one volt, switch three is two volts, switch four is uh, um, four volts, switch five is eight volts, and switch six is 16 volts. Now, you're wondering what the heck is he doing here? So 1.5 volts being the base. We switch over the 0 0.5 uh, volt, which is switch one. 1.5 plus 0.5 is 2 volts. The next switch, switch 2, is labeled 1 volt. So if I switch that over as well, 3 volts. So a base of 0 of 1.5 volts plus switch 1, was, which is 0 0.5 volts, which is plus uh, switch 2, which is 1 volt, is 3 volts. 1.5 plus 0.5 plus 1 is 3 volts. So the next switch is 2 volts. So if I switch that over, what do you think I'll get? I'll get 3 plus 2 volts. Now the next switch is... Um, 4 volts. Switch 4 is 4 volts. So if I switch this, I should get 9 volts. 5 plus 4. Um, the next one is 8 volts, so I should get 16 volts if I switch it over. Now, I can't get to my maximum of 33 volts by adding 16 to this. 16 is the final switch, plus 17 is 33 volts max. So I think if I switch it, I should see basically the my input voltage, which is 22.5 volts. That's the max. So let's try this again. Let's try a different sequence. We'll turn all the switches on and we'll see our base of 1.5 volts. So say I want, let's say I want 10 volts. I will add 0.5 volts, which is switch 1, and I will add 8 volts, which is switch 5. 10 volts. Let's turn those off again. Let's say I want 16 volts. I'll switch on switch 6. Oh, sorry, six, if I want 17 volts. 17.5, because that's a base of 1.5 plus 16 volts. So I'll turn that off. Let's say I want... Let's say I want 12, 12 volts. So I'll turn on my 0.5, which is pin 1, I'll have 2. Plus 8 is 10. Plus 2, which is pin 3. And there's my 12 volts. So it's a it's a matter of of a simple multiplication here. Uh, very easy to use, very precise. If at any point it becomes a little bit out of tune, you can tune your values using this onboard potentiometer. But it's very accurate, easy to use. Uh, it's rated for for uh, uh, two amp uh, max. And uh, and uh, yeah. So uh, the greatest thing is is um, you can you can you can uh, really kind of tune it to whatever voltage you want. Uh, in there are four mounting holes so you can mount it to your test board uh, and as long as your multiplication is up to snuff and even if it's not you, all you need is a calculator and there you go very precise neat little circuit fun to use so uh, if you're interested if, uh, they'll be available soon at engineeringshock.com and electroniclessons.com thanks for watching I'm uploading a lot of videos today so just check out some of our new products take care have a great day